The Ulyanovsk Aviastar facility has achieved a production rate of seven Ilyushin L-76 aircraft per year in 2025, with a particular emphasis on the modernized IL-76 MD-90A variant. This represents a substantial increase in comparison to previous years, which is indicative of the facility's ongoing investments in modernization efforts and production capabilities. Russia has developed the IL-76 MD-90A, a modernized heavy military transport aircraft that is a substantial improvement over the earlier IL-76 variants. The aircraft is equipped with four state-of-the-art PS-90A-76 turbofan engines, which provide improved fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and enhanced performance. It has a maximum launch weight of approximately 210 tons and a payload capacity of up to 60 tons. It is capable of operating at altitudes of up to 12,000 meters and cruising at velocities ranging from 820 to 850 kilometers per hour with a maximum operational range of 8,500 kilometers. The IL-76 MD-90A is equipped with an enormous cargo hold that measures approximately 20.5 meters in length, 3.45 meters in width, and 3.4 meters in height. This capacity enables it to transport a diverse array of cargo, military equipment, and up to 225 troops in a double-deck configuration or 114 injured personnel in a medical evacuation configuration. The aircraft is engineered to be adaptable, capable of conducting airdrops, medical evacuations, troop and cargo airlifts, and even firefighting missions. It is outfitted with a contemporary glass cockpit that features automated cargo systems, advanced avionics, and multifunctional digital displays. This configuration enables efficient operations in various weather and geographic conditions, including those originating from unpaved or semi-prepared airfields. The IL-76 MD-90A is also compliant with international standards for emissions and noise, rendering it appropriate for both domestic and export markets. It is a critical asset for military and humanitarian missions worldwide due to its operational flexibility, high payload, and robust design. Anton Alikhanov, the Russian Minister of Industry and Trade, stated that the production volume at Ulyanovsk is expected to increase by 1.7 times by 2027, reaching 12 EL-76 aircraft annually. This expansion is a component of a more comprehensive strategy that is designed to meet the needs of both domestic and export markets. Additionally, the minister proposed a further objective to eventually increase production to 18 aircraft annually, depending on market demand and ongoing modernization efforts. Several critical steps are being prioritized to meet the ambitious production targets established for the IL-76 aircraft at the Ulyanovsk facility. Eliminating production constraints is one of the most critical measures. This entails a comprehensive examination of the assembly line to identify any constraints that impede the manufacturing process. The plant can substantially increase its output and operate more efficiently by streamlining workflows and addressing these constraints. Investing in new technology and equipment is another critical step. The Ulyanovsk facility intends to acquire sophisticated machinery from both local manufacturers in the region and sympathetic foreign partners. Modern technology is anticipated to improve quality, increase productivity, and facilitate the increased production rates required to achieve future objectives. Workforce expansion is also a significant element of the plant's development strategy. The facility plans to employ approximately 20,500 additional workers to meet the increased production demands. This workforce expansion will not only assist in the management of the increased output, but also contribute to the local economy by generating new employment opportunities and jobs in the area. Ultimately, the production lines and processes are being actively modernized. This encompasses the implementation of cutting-edge manufacturing methodologies and the utilization of novel materials, which will further enhance product quality and efficiency. These enhancements are indispensable for satisfying the rigorous demands of contemporary military and civilian aviation clients, as well as for preserving competitiveness in both domestic and international markets. The export of 40 to 50 EL-76 MD-90A aircraft to various countries 
particularly in the CIS in Southeast Asia, is currently under negotiation as there is substantial interest from international customers. This robust export potential is a significant factor in the anticipated production increases. The Ulyanovsk region is becoming a significant aviation center, not only for the IL-76, but also for other aircraft, including the MC-21 and IL-114-300. Several significant enterprises, such as JSC Promtec Ulyanovsk and JSC Aero Composite, are located in the region and contribute to Russia's civil and military aviation programs overall. Minister Alakhanov indicated that the government may reconsider the issue of further expanding production capacity in approximately three years, around 2028, contingent upon market conditions and export contracts. The ongoing modernization and expansion of the Ulyanovsk facility are considered essential for preserving Russia's competitiveness in the global military transport aircraft market. The IL-76 MD-90A program at Ulyanovsk is a critical component of Russia's military and export aviation strategy, as evidenced by the expanding production rates that reflect both domestic demand and increasing international interest. Now, do you think Russia will be able to export IL-76 in next five years? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.